Hello and welcome to tutorial number 19. Community Builder 2.0 has quite a few built-in field types. Uh, we went through some of them last, uh, the last tutorial, basically file and video. And we're going to go through some more today. So if we look in our back end, our additional info tab has four fields gender field which is basically a radio button type birthday field date field date type file file type video video type today see I have notes here <laughs> today we'll be covering two more field types the drop down single select and the multi checkbox so let's just create a new field let's call it <coughs> marital status marital status okay and let's make this a drop down single select put it in our additional info tab keep it on registration seems fair enough and let's start filling in the values so let's assume we have single and single for the moment I'm going to be keeping the value and the label exactly the same in most cases this is adequate but value is basically what's stored in the database and what's shown in profile view and the label is what's shown when you select it in edit view so first field is this if I want to create a second one let's see married label married third one let's call this divorced I hope I'm getting the spelling right but divorced another one how about widower widow sorry widow dash er widower same thing here and let's do another one here involved <laughs> and the last one just being funny here, complicated. Okay, <clears throat> we won't touch the other parameters here. No, no reason to touch those right now. Let me do a save, and let's go to my profile and do an edit. Go to the additional info, and we see we have a marital status field. We can select one. Let's select married, for example. Update. Marital status, married. Okay, so that's the first field. Let's go and create now. Cancel. Let's create a new field. The Let's call it CB Expertise. CB Expertise. Oh, the spelling is right, okay. And this is not going to be a text field. We said it's going to be a checkbox, multiple checkbox here. Additional info tab. <coughs> Keep everything the way it is. And let's start filling in values here. Uh, let's start out by community builder just copy paste group jive just naming some of the add-ons of community builder uh, cb subs query field auto 
actions. CB connect. CB invites. Well, I, I should stop here. There, we basically have hundreds of, <laughs> of add-ons. And let's just save this. And let's see what the default looks like in the front end. Edit. Additional info. Hmm. So kind of squished here. So let's see if I can do something to make those look better. If we look at our checkbox field, we see there are size, columns, and rows. And right now it's zero, zero. So let's assume we want this in three columns. Save. We'll see right now. These are like four. There are four columns in the first row and three in the second. If I refresh now, we'll see it's been spaced out to three columns. And nice. And let's just community builder. CB invites auto connections update and seeing in display mode it basically is a comma separated list here okay now <clears throat> let me go a step further and actually go to the user list I created if you guys remember a long time ago let's go to the, the member table list here and go to the columns we can add the let's let's add these actually these three columns right now. Okay, one, one, two, three. Let's make a fourth column and call this additional. Info. And let's say that we select the birthday field title and the second one could be the marital status one of the title let's add a third one here which is the <coughs> CB expertise one line with title now, like this size. Actually, there's three columns. Now it's going to be size three since it's four columns. And we have to change everything back to size three. Because four times three is 12, if I remember correctly. And save. <coughs> Let's go to my list. Member table list here. That's not it. First one here. Okay, so you have four columns. Great. So if I do a search here, it still doesn't show everything. It only shows the three. Let's see why. Let's go back to the fields. And we see that our fields here are not searchable. So let's make the CB expertise searchable the marital status searchable and yeah, the birth date searchable just to see what our user list looks like and let's just do a refresh here do a search wow okay so <clears throat> in the current search mode we can set marital status is one of and we can select for example let's find who's married just to find. We won't get anybody. Let me go and make some changes so somebody the back end community builder, user management, let's go to Jennifer. 
additional info and uh, let's set her to married and click some fields here actually let's put a birth no, forget that's enough so if I refresh here we see Jennifer appears now and let's go and not search that and try to search for expertise include any of anybody community builder for example find users Jennifer shows up again great so we've talked about two new fields today again the single select drop down and the multi checkbox field uh, these are core community builder 2.0 and I also showed you how they integrate with the searching facilities of the user lists. Okay, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next tutorial tomorrow probably. Thank you. Bye-bye.